Talks on renewing a military cost-sharing deal between South Korea and the United States kicked off in Seoul this week. It's widely expected as another grueling tug of war. Washington is known to be demanding a significant increase in Seoul's share of the expense of stationing some 28,500 American troops in South Korea. The Trump administration claims that South Korea's contribution to the $5 billion spent for maintaining American bases on the Korean peninsula is far from enough. Seoul agreed to pay one-sixth of that total cost in March, which was an 8.2 percent increase from a year earlier. But here, $5 billion includes the expense of deploying strategic assets during joint military exercises and stationing U.S. personnel. And the thing is, under the cost-sharing deal, or the Special Measures Agreement, SMA in short, South Korea is not obliged to provide such operational support. Seoul is known to have defended its position against the U.S. demand, saying that adding the new items to the list of what it has to cover is unreasonable and unfair, and that it has been contributing to the U.S. military presence on its soil in many other ways, both directly and indirectly. The large tracts of land Seoul provides for U.S. military bases in the country could be one example. Plus, South Korea shouldered 90 percent of the $11 billion cost to expand Camp Humphreys in Pyeongtaek, south of Seoul, into the largest overseas American military base. And as President Donald Trump mentioned during his latest summit with President Moon Jae-in in New York this week, South Korea is indeed one of the biggest buyers of American military equipment. Trump is in fact using increasingly various means to further pressure Seoul to pay more. He's been saying things like it's very expensive to keep American troops in South Korea and the joint military drills with the South were unnecessary and a total waste of money. And now Trump is indirectly pushing South Korea to buy more of its military equipment by praising the country for its large purchases of American weapons. Trump's business-minded approach toward alliances have faced fierce backlash not just from its allies, but even within the U.S. However, during his U.N. address on Tuesday, he reiterated a call for allies to pay their fair share of what he calls the tremendous defense burden which the United States has borne in the past. With that, it seems that American pressure on South Korea to increase its financial contribution to shared defense costs will continue, with the next round of SME negotiations expected to take place in October in the U.S.